Vung Tao, now that is a name that conjures up romance, excitement and treasure hunting. And here is a piece of the Vung Tao cargo. And I will be selling this ancient little pot lid on eBay in an auction and you will be able to watch it as it actually happens. Try and value it. How much do you think it's going to make? But before you make your mind up, I'm going to give you some extra background information. But stick with me to the end of the video. It's only a few minutes and we'll watch it sell together. If you saw my video a week or so ago on the big collection of Vung Tao I've recently bought, you will recognise this little lid, the cover from a vase. It's 330 years old. It's encrusted with barnacles and crustaceans is what that what you call them i don't know it's still got its little christie's label here from when it was sold in the early 90s in christie's uh, amsterdam but this is part of the cargo that was brought up resurrected from the seabed in the late 1980s and i've decided to put it on ebay just for a bit of fun how much do you think this thing is worth i mentioned in my last video it was worth about 40 quid. Well, it is 40, 50 quid all day long, just as a novelty thing. But consider this, people. If you had one of these, a beautiful Vung Tao 1690, from the same cargo, vase without its lid, the cover, then you would be pretty keen to buy this lid because as a Vung Tao in immaculate condition vase with its matching lid, well, it's on the market now for 1300 quid thereabouts. Without its lid, it's probably worth seven or 800 quid, making this lid invaluable, which is why I've put it on eBay auction to inject a little bit of fun and excitement in life. Because as a novelty item, yes, 40, 50, maybe even up to 100 quid. Why not? You would, wouldn't you? It's just a fun thing. But if you had this vase without a cover, you would pay an awful lot more because it would add so much more value to your vase with its missing cover. So there's the plan. Now, you might be wondering, well, this lid was never made for this vase. Well, none of the lids were ever made for this specific vase. It's, that just wasn't the way it was. I know it's 1690, 330 years ago, but you know they were manufacturing these things in bulk and they would make the vases and the lids separately. When they went onto cargo ships into big crates, vases would be in one crate, lids would be in another, and you would say potluck. This is where we get the term potluck from. So the pot lid, it's pot luck whether the lid fits accurately or not and they never really do so this lid even though the color is slightly off right because you know it's been this thing's been somehow protected down below on the sea bed for 300 and odd years this not so much which is why it's got all these barnacles and stuff but it, it, it's nearly there but let's say you had a vase that was a little off color like the lid all you would have to do if you wanted to is to be very careful and remove all of these barnacles and crustaceans. Now, personally, I wouldn't because I just think they make the piece really interesting. It's taken hundreds of years to get like that. But if you really want to go for it and improve the value of a Vung Tao vase, then you could do that. So I'm looking for buyers, ideally with a vase, don't need a lid, or just people that want a good, fun novelty item. Take a look at it, come on. Wouldn't you want to buy that? Now, just try and get your head around the age of this thing. I keep saying 1690, 330 years old. What, you know, what does that really mean? Well, let, let's try and get it into some sort of time perspective. So, in 1837, Queen Victoria came to the throne, took the crown in England in 1837. This thing had been on the seabed bobbing around for 150 years when the Queen was crowned. Beginning of the Second World War in 1939, this thing had been bobbing around the seabed for 250 years. It just 
gets the time into perspective, but also don't you think that generally antiques are always selfish. They get life into perspective because whatever is going on in the world, whatever has gone on in the world, this thing has been there for all of those centuries. It has barely changed in appearance, certainly not in its weight and its feel, yet so many other things have changed. People have come and gone and been forgotten. So antiques get life, I think, into perspective because this thing has been here for over three centuries and mark my words, it will be here for three centuries after you and I are long gone. There you go, that'll cheer you up. Gets life into a real perspective. Look at that. So now let's get down to trying to make some money out of this thing. So it's on eBay. Now remember when you put something on eBay or any selling website, make sure that you maximize your photographs. So eBay allows 12 photos, so take 12 photos. You think to yourself, you can't possibly take 12 photos of that. Yes, you can. You can do it like that. You can do it like that. You can do it like that. You can do it from all angles. Photographs sell as well as words, if not sometimes better. And on the subject of words, make sure that the description is clear, very smart, not waffling. Don't give them chapter and verse on the history of the Vung Tao. They know what that is. They're there looking for a piece of Vung Tao. And if they don't know, they can go watch one of my videos or something else, can't they? So don't do copy and pasting proper good description, loads of photos, good measurements, and make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes. Now, I, listen, I am the master at making spelling mistakes. I just make sure that I double check it before I click publish advert. I don't always get it right, but seeing adverts with badly written and bad spelling mistakes just put people off, so don't do it. And what I've done is I've reserved it at 50 quid. Right, because you know, if I put it on eBay and it sells for three pounds, it's just devastating and it can happen. So I've protected it at 50 quid. Now I've got to tell you, for the first few days, not very much happened. Here's a snapshot. There you go, look, there's the eBay advert. Oh, look at the barnacles, don't they look good? Anyway, look at that one day, seven hours left to run. So it's been up for about five days and it's only bid to a tenner. So, so far, it's devastating. And it was only a day before the end of the sale, things started to get a little hotter when it comes to bidding. So now it's standing at this. Ah, now there you go. Look at all those photographs. You see, you really can use photos, but look at the figures, 40 pounds and 53 P. You know, people are funny on eBay. They try and outbid each other literally by the penny. But remember, the reserve is 50 quid. So there's still the chance that it's not even going to sell. As I'm sure you're aware, it all happens or mainly happens at the end of an auction on something like eBay or any of these online selling sites. People hold off to try and bag that bargain. Well, I don't blame them. So standing at 40 quid right now, who knows, it might double that, but it'll all happen, mark my words, in the final few seconds. So, here we go. And just so you know, bidding leapt up to 50 quid a couple of hours ago, but now it's all down to the few last moments. And here we are in the kitchen. There's Rosie the dog taking a keen interest in proceedings, but not really. She's never quite as interested as I am. So here we go, tiny amount of time left. What have we got? 50 seconds or something? 50 quid? What do you think, Rose? No, still not that bothered. Right, here we go. Final seconds for sure. 18, 17, still at 50. Okay, it can all happen. I just want to show you the pictures, in fact, just to prove to you that you can indeed take lots of really good pictures of really small things. Seven, six, five. Come on, people, start bidding. 50 quid, no more. Oh, well, that's all right. 50 quid is fine. That was the reserve. It's made it. And thanks very much to Linda from Buckinghamshire, who has bought the lid. Linda, it is on its way to you as we speak. And Linda, you know, this has got to be fate. I know it's taken 330 years to get to you, but you'll have it any day. So thanks very much for buying it. And thanks very much to everyone else 
for watching this too. So don't forget to subscribe for more videos like it. Until next time, I'm David Harper. Cheerio.